purple, solvent, so I think. It's not a lot of hide, but it's something. You really want to make a lot of money. You, you, you skin the uh, just regular animals for rawhide. So easy. Oh, I was just going to give it to you. Or that. How much iron do you think you need? Probably like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. I mean, it never stops. Okay. I love that. <laughs> it literally never stops. Did you guys play any Battlefield yet? No. Not yet. Nope. No. <laughs> I played it for like three hours today. I enjoyed it actually, but yeah. All right. Some people said that it's a four month old version of the game. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, it looks terrible. Yeah. It like <laughs> it has to be an older version of the. There's just no shot that that's that's what they're gonna come out with in yeah. a month's time. No, no way. Yeah, that's why I'm also like scared of judging the game before I see the full released version. Though, like, if it looks like that on release, then okay, then you feel free to like slam it. But like. It's hard to slam a beta because a yeah. lot of people don't understand, but beta builds are always, always months, months behind the actual build that they have. Yeah. I don't know why that's done that way. I'm not entirely sure, but so it always happens. so weird i don't get this like i hate that this is two percent and this is also two like green should be two blue should be three and purple should be four or make green one make blue two and make purple three like whatever it's just so weird to have different qualities like this and they're just i don't know weird Why do I have this? It scales with the item level. You can use the slider on NWB. What do you mean it scales? Maybe it's a tooltip bug. What does that mean it scales? Oh, are you saying... No, I don't understand. Are you saying if this Tanner hat was like a gear score of 560, it would be higher? Is that what you mean? I really don't think there's... I think it's all flat too. I really think it's all flat too, which is weird that it is that way. Let's see. Is there anything up? What the hell is this thing called? Um, this? I really don't think, I don't know. I don't think it's going to change. I think it's always going to be two, even if the gear score is like 580. Because if that was the case... Like, if that was the case, like, these Tanner pieces are, like, under 300, and then 500 doesn't change it a percent. Like, I just, I think it's always going to be flat, too. I really don't think there's going to be threes or fours. I just, I highly, highly doubt it. But maybe, maybe. I think it's always going to be a flat, too. All right, um, should I leave my tanning gear here? It's not really heavy. It weighs 0. 0.3. Like, it doesn't really matter too much, honestly. Okay. Cool. So we could level my armoring right now if we wanted to. Or wait, no, we need some iron, I think. Iron's easy, but... I could level my arm my armoring up a little bit because I could go to weavers 
and I could just... I have a bunch of silk and I have a bunch of infused. So I could spam all of my infused and spam all of my silk and stuff. And then I could probably get my armoring from 161. I could probably bring it up with the mats I have right now. I'd probably bring it up to 170. Not much higher than that, though. I highly doubt it. I could probably get it 9 levels with how much I have, and then that's it. Does 170 give you anything special? No. You gotta hit that 180. 180 gets you the start of Beast Hunter. Then 85, 190. I wanna get to 190 really fucking bad. I just need so many materials. Isn't there a war in Brightwood in like an hour? I gotta go run around and mine some iron or something. Surely there's iron here, right? Somewhere. I'm gonna look at the map. New world map. Uh, surely there's some iron where I am, right? Iron. Can't make the proficiency booster here. No matter. There's no workshop. There's a wood shop. Oh, look at that. They're making this place just the refine. Wood shop, tannery, smelter. <laughs> they should do these two as well. Let's make it pure refine. Fuck it. Wow, there actually is not that much iron here. But there's some, but it's not that insane, actually. I'll look around. I'm gonna just what I'm gonna do is just gonna run around, get some iron, and go bring it back to um Weavers, I guess. I don't need that much iron. Just need a little bit. I think there's iron up here. It's crazy how little people play in a server, but at the same time, it feels so full. I'm flagged for PvP. I don't want to be flagged. Whatever, dude. If I die, they're doing me a favor. Let's be real. All cities are packed. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like, the amount of players that each server has is only a cap of, like, 2250, right? Only, like, 2250 people could be on at a time. 2200 people is not that much, right? But it feels so fucking full. It's weird. Clearly they knew... Clearly they knew and tested the amount of players very well. That would fe make the world feel alive, right? But once the map... The map is supposed to... See this right here? The map is supposed to bleed all the way to, like, here. So it's supposed to go up this way and then bleed all the way down here. So it's gonna be this huge fucking map. At that point, they best be ready to up the player count. Cause 2200 is fine for the size of this map. Maybe it could, maybe it could go to 3000, okay? But once they go all the way up here and shit, they better up it to like 6,000. Cause it's, it's gonna be huge. This amount of players won't work anymore for that. And then it increases the increase the Azoth cap, because it's gonna cost like four hundred Azoth to teleport across the map. It already does if you're full. I can't get this, Sag. No iron up here. I think there would be. Maybe there is, but it's got I got mined.
Oh, there was that one spot here in morning. Er, no, it wasn't here. Never mind. It was in Eden, I think. Er, where was it? There you go. Dan out snow mounts, only hoverboards. Nice. <laughs> My tracking kind of works. Will they ever increase gold cap? I don't know. 500,000 is quite a lot. Does anyone know if a settlement can have all tier 5 crafting and refining stations? Yeah, of course. A settlement can have everything. The settlement that... that the settlement that finally figures out how to do the invasions early enough consistently it's gonna be really hard because it's all rng but i mean it's all rng based on the players that's what i mean but um yeah if a settlement is getting really really lucky and they're never getting an invasion or when they do they win their invasions those uh those settlements are gonna be the ones that probably climb the fastest or, of course, the settlements that started day one. The day one settlements are very far ahead. Like, like Windsor, for example. It's got a uh, tier 5 workshop, tier 5 arcane. Tier 4 smelter, tier 4 tannery, tier 4 stone cutting, tier 4 forge. It's really confusing because the HUD's bugged. And then I, us and Weavers, we were also day one, but we did it a little differently. I went for tier 5 outfitting, tier 5 arcane, and tier 5 stone cutting. And in a couple hours, we'll have tier 5 smelter. So I went a little differently. I focused more on a couple things in my town. And I upped it to tier 5. Because I had hoped that would drive some traffic to weavers to make us more gold. I think it's working. You still got the bug rapier? I do. I'm not get. I can't get that. Did the quest chain? So once you hit level 20 mastery in a weapon, like my 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 rapier is level 20, right? Once you hit level 20 in mastery in a weapon, you get like a long quest chain to get like a 580 gear score weapon. Me and Justin are gonna do it tonight because he got his rapiers to level 20 as well. Do you know if there's going to be a consistent reset for factions owning settlements? Probably not. I don't see why they would do that. What would be the... Like, it would feel, it'd feel weird for owning land. And, like, what would a reset do? All a reset would do would be... Okay, like, I think a reset would make it worse. I know you might think it's not going to make it worse. But if you're doing a consistent reset of all the lands... All that's going to happen is everyone that owns the land already is making so much money. They're going to save all of their money and wait for the reset. Reset's going to happen. They'll buy everything again. So you can't really do a reset like that. It won't really work. You have to find some other method if you want to reset. What if they add two more factions? I don't see why they'd add more factions. It's kind of weird. Unless their game gets so huge and they have, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 players per server. Sure, three factions might not be enough. But right now, with a server cap of 2,200, three factions is more than, more than enough. Where am I right now? Supposedly, there's iron here. I think it's on the... I don't think it's on the inside. I think it's on the outside. I think I need to get on that wall right there. Looks like there's... Yeah, I think it's on this side. So I gotta get around.
Are you watching the LCQ, Mike? Oh, is LCQ live? No, no, no. But it starts tomorrow or something, or the day after, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not watching the LCQ. Okay. What the fuck? Where are you coming from? Is that what Tyler's gonna be in though? I mean, I might. I kind of want to watch. I mean, like, what if he makes it through? Imagine if you fucking split screen it, Mike. Just playing new. Oh, that's genius. Playing new world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all I could do is run around the map and harvest stuff. You don't really need to think for that, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's true. So Got the right gave me permission for NA, but not EU. <laughs> the grind in this Wait, game really? makes me want to fucking throw up. Yeah. So it's back to demon schedule, guys. I love the bow, but it humbled me because it's hard as fuck to hit shit in PvP. Depends. Depends on how you're using the bow, what skills you're using with the bow, and who you're up against. The bow can be challenging in PvP, but it really depends on who you're up against. Like, you need to somehow... With the bow, to be very good in PvP, you need to somehow bait them to get close to you. But not too close, obviously, or else they'll fucking bang, bang you out real quick, but... beauty of poison shot, rain of arrows, and piercing or whatever shot is that you can get away with, um, there's so much silkweed, holy fuck. Someone said T1 isn't in the LCQ? I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why else would he be... I feel like he'd be having like time off more, right? If not. North America last chance qualifier. Let's see. There's no shot they're not in the LCQ. That doesn't make sense. If it's no they're in, if there's only eight teams? No, they're not. Really? Really? Is there a quality for the LCQ? That we're missing? Like maybe there maybe there's need to qualify through something else to get into the LCQ. It doesn't look that way. I just see a upper bracket going straight into quarterfinals. Uh, with eight teams. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know if there's anything else. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm just seeing 100 teams, Gen G, Exit, Luminosity, Phase, Rise, V1, and Cloud9 Blue. Oh, is it? Is it because of? Is it based off? Is it based off points? Is it? I think is, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, the T1 didn't make shit. So yeah, they're, they're not. No. Yeah, I think it's the circuit points. For yeah, the rest yeah, of yeah. The year, isn't it? Yeah. If that if that's the case, yeah, they're not playing for sure. They didn't Maybe get any they're points. the team that would get a spot in the LCQ if an NA team won. Because wasn't that a thing where like the region that wins gets an extra team in champions, and therefore an extra team will also get a spot in LCQ? Because Fnatic was like cheering for Gambit. Because if Gambit wins, Fnatic didn't have to play LCQ. They would just go straight into champions. Mm. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I like that because it, because it gives you like it gives you a reason to root for not your team, you know? Yeah, I think that's really cool. I think honestly. that's a cool little thing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. -da 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 -da. Was for yeah, chat. The same was for TSM. If an NA team won, then yeah, TSM would get a spot. That's what it was. Yeah. Also, if NV won, TSM would have made it straight to champions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now they're gonna just lose in the LCQ. No, wait, no. TSM would have gotten a spot in LCQ. They're not even in LCQ, I think. Isn't that what it would be? Oh. If, if NV won, Such. TSM would get a spot in LCQ, right? Fucking God, I just thinking about think competing again is. makes me want to throw up, man. I hated that shit. And and there was also. Hey, Mike, just saw your message and replied. In oh, nice. In LCQ. But something happened with the new travel restrictions or some shit. I think. Dream elements and, and see if it works. Also Twitch. Got Ripperoni. Yeah, I just see a white page. That sucks. Try going to Stream Elements logout and then log in again with Twitch. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, if MPO no, it doesn't work. Sentinels one, then TSM would be in LCQ. That's how it was. Tara, I can. Can you access stream elements yet, Hannah? Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, I don't know, Tara. It just doesn't. Um, Maybe it's my... Well, I don't think I. Hmm. I don't think I have control over your. Your Twitch one. Oh, well, wait. It works. It works. Hold on. Okay. It's just bugging on my browser, maybe? I don't know. Mine works on my other computer, so maybe it was just tweaking. Yeah, maybe. That's wordwood. Okay, how do I make someone a admin thing? <laughs> if you click on your name on the top, like, do you see, like, if you click on Shroud? Uh-huh. On the top right, and then you should see like a bunch of people pop up. Do you see that? I see Shroud Shroud. Like I log in, I go to dash. Hold on, let me see my dashboard. Um, on the top right, it just says next to sign out, it says Binance. So I click on that, and then it says my manager. Do you see that? Oh, now it's back to the white page. I click on one thing in Stream Elements, and it just goes to a white page. Oh no. I don't know what to do. Yeah, if I try to go to the dashboard, it just goes to a white blank page. Nothing loads. It worked for a second yeah. there, though, which was really weird. For a second, it worked, and then it just broke. Bugging out. Um, I, I don't know. Like my mod said that um, certain browsers, like Firefox, will cause issues. So you might have to do Chrome. But I don't know if that. Did work. your power supply explode, or was that fake you. news, bro? My power supply didn't explode, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how fucking bad journalism is on on the internet. Not all of it. Some journalism is is top notch. They do a very good job, very professional. But holy fuck, all of these random websites trying to make a name for themselves. If you see some random bullshit like that, you see a typo, you see a whatever, you know, misspelt name. That's cap. Like that, that's just, a, it's just, it's cap. All that's cap. So no, if you saw something about my power supply blowing up, that did not happen. Is there somewhere in particular that you My UPS. Is it back at Weaver? My UPS blew up. Yes. Not my power supply. It's two very different things. Kind of. They both draw power, I guess. All good. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. It's just white page. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I don't give a damn. Let me message my contact. But yeah, my, UP my UPS just got zapped. So I had to get a new one. My UPS saved my computer, though. Both of them, actually. My UPS saved both of my PCs. Thank God. I had it. I've, I've been using UPS for so long. And I never really thought the importance of it. I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably just get this. And then finally. Finally. I see the importance. The save. Uh, Mike. Uh huh. Where do you want the iron? Uh, in Weavers, probably. The only thing is that do you have storage room? Because I have no. none. No, I don't. Okay, can I can I store it in Everfall until you need it? Sure. And I'll just set my end here. Okay. You could always smelt it too. It'll save some space. You just turn it into iron bars. Oh, is that how you want it? Yeah. I don't just need the ore. I need the bars, and then the bars turn to steel so forth oh, and then steel okay. turns to star metal and star metal turns to or auriculum or whatever it's called or okay. or calcum i don't know i fucking hate that name every time i see that <laughs> name and it, and i see that in an mmo every time i see that stupid mat i get so mad dumb name <laughs> all right i'll just smelt yeah, it man. and bring it home oh 
Where am I? I made it all the way to Restless? There's a couple iron nodes along the way here, but it's not really worth it. I hit up all the iron. All oh, you said that, um, make sure you log out and log back in. If you changed your password on Twitch, it rescinds the token. The thing is, I can't log out. I just, the logout page is white. Every page is white. If you, if you type in stream elements a couple times, like, remember how I told you, slash shroud and then back, it might work. I just don't care enough. i am be honest. I can't be bothered. Yeah, but your chat would really appreciate it. I'm sure. One key? Two keys? Nah. No, you have... No, Five you piece? have like backlog of like twenty. <laughs> Just type them in chat. Fuck it. First come, first serve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's how you want to do it. But you might get gobbled by bots. Well, they deserve it. Okay. They're beating the system. Dude, I love your attitude sometimes. <laughs> I just like can't be bothered. Like I'm um, you know, like it doesn't matter. This isn't that serious. Okay. Uh, no, I, get, I, get you. I mean, I didn't mention it again. You were, you know, you were looking to do it. You do whatever you want. <laughs> Chubby Mikey said he could run giveaways, but he doesn't have the keys. Oh, okay. You can give him that Google Doc that you guys had. Sure. See? I got mods. They're the ones that could be bothered, <laughs> not me. Uh-uh. Don't even look at my stream. Click off of it right now. There's so much fucking hemp in Cutlass or wherever I am. Restless. Jesus. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm out of here. Without us, you become poor. <laughs> I mean, I get. I mean, I guess. I, yeah, sure. That's one way of looking at it. It's interesting because once you get to a certain part of streaming. There's almost nothing you can do to truly get rid of your income. There's no, like, bad shit you can do to truly bring yourself to, you know, hit rock bottom. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't matter what you do. Because as much as there's the people that will stop supporting you, there's people like me who don't give a fuck, right? So if someone doesn't give a fuck, they'll keep watching for whatever reason. It doesn't matter, right? They'll be like, ah, fuck it, I'll keep watching. There'll, there'll be so many people that don't give a fuck and so many people that are really bothered by it and they, they care a lot that it'll just end up not mattering because your your initial growth and in size is so huge that no matter what, you're still going gonna to lose money, but you're still going to be making money. It's really weird. I don't know if that makes any sense. I probably explained that very poorly, but yeah. <laughs> You won't like lose. Yeah, you won't lose your. It's it's not like, I don't know. It's not so. It's not so like when you're when you're in this industry. It's not so cut and dry. And it's like, as a streamer, you do something bad and all of your revenue's gone. No, as a streamer, you do something bad, you lose some revenue, but there's always a chance to bounce back, or you'll just lose some revenue permanently and you'll still be getting money, you know. Seriously, there's like no way to just there's no way to get zero. You'll you'll never you'll never get that. No matter what okay, you do. He's on it. Thank you. It's weird. But it makes sense. Right? 
It's weird, but it makes sense. What's up, turkey? Got him. You'd have to do something really crazy to completely ruin yourself. Yeah, but even if it's the the crate, like the craziest thing to completely ruin yourself would have to be something so crazy that it would get you banned from every piece of the internet. That's how crazy it would have to be. So of course, there's the extreme. Of course, there's always the extreme that'll get you off every platform. Of course, I'm not saying that's impossible, but for the most part, you do something that's kind of fucked up, something, whatever, right? You'll be fine. You'll lose money, but you'll still be fine. I'm not saying you should do those things, okay? I'm just saying words, okay? They're just words coming out of my mouth. This is really boring what I'm doing, I know, but like, I have to do it. I can't just constantly rely on other people giving me stuff. Cause like, if I need to go farm or a calcum or, or whatever the fuck it's called. Jesus. If I need to, if I need to find or calcum, like I need to be able to do it myself. If I need to harvest wire fiber, I need to be able to do it myself. It's really not hard. Harvesting is not hard. It's just another thing to consume time. Also, I'm going this way because there's some iron. I, there's a lot of iron nodes on this hill over here. Well, not a lot. A, a decent bit. Let's say a decent bit. All right, Mikey. I have um, 477 iron bars for you. Nice. Can you turn them into steel? Can I? Oh. Uh... I think it's just iron. It, it's just more iron bars to turn into steel. Because that's even that'll save you even more space. Like, oh. I use flux or... Uh, sand flux? Sand flux, maybe? You get a bigger bonus if you use the green stuff, but it's totally up to you. I'll work on it. Yeah, whenever it comes to, like, farming mats for somebody, you just always refine them into the next step. Because you'll always have more space that way. Okie dokie. Oh, are we giving away a key? What the heck um, is that keyword? <laughs> Jesus. What is it? Uh, plis, is it long? Plis gib key. Please gib key. Plis, plis <laughs> gib key. Oh, I like that. Plis gib key. I don't even know how to change the keyword. I Mine just know. says ticket. Yeah. If I was to do it myself, it would probably say ticket too. I don't know how to do that either. I have no idea. I don't think there would be a giveaway. It was up to you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. I've done a couple of giveaways myself, but that was when I used that like browser extension thing, which wasn't so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it was it was pretty easy with that browser extension, to be honest. I did it at, like uh, early, early when I started streaming. I did this thing where I used like a giveaway bot to decide who was playing in custom games. Because you could like basically have nine slots, right, in a Valorant custom game, and you could like have people sign up, and then you basically draw who gets to play. It gets messy after a while, though.
Can you get epic tools? I think so. I think if your tools, like the tools that I have, I think is the best tools you can get. I think these are tier 5 tools. But I think it's just a matter of procking them higher. So once you're engineering, mine's 152. The higher your profession goes, um, the higher gear score something will have. So eventually, you could probably get purple, maybe even legendary, or, or a Calcum tools, maybe. You just have to make sure you use the absolute best uh, reagents or whatever, ingredients, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's really cool how in-depth this game goes, but holy fuck is it a grind. I would say the best advice playing this game is don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Only worry about like what you're doing, because if you're so concerned about how far somebody else is ahead of you, you'll start to fucking question why you're even playing and... I haven't, I haven't watched any streamer play this game except for my friends because I know there's so many streamers out there that are so much further ahead than me. And that, in my brain, always turns me off. It always makes me want to stop playing a game when so many more people are ahead of me. So as long as I'm not watching those streamers that are super far ahead, that helps my mental. I'm, I'm not saying everyone thinks like that, but I think like that. I always compare myself to other people and I'm like, fuck. I'm too far. I'm gonna stop playing. You're about as far as anyone I've watched. Oh, trust me, man. Go a little lower with the go a little lower in the new world section. There is some insane like it's crazy how far people are ahead. I, I don't even want to think about it. It'll maybe fucking it'll make me just Projectile everywhere. It's crazy. Fuck, I missed an iron node. Dang it. Like, I'm degening pretty hard in this week and a half. When did New World come out? It's been like a week and a half, Whoa. right? I have like Hello. 180 Hello. hours or some stupid shit. Hey, yeah. Justin. Justin. Real J9. Yo. You ready to play some play some sieges, some wars? Get our rapier? 380? 580? Fuck. Yep. I always yep. say 380. Always. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking 380. We we're going to probably kill some world bosses today, maybe. Oh, yeah. The trick to getting high gear score is cheesing your gear score originally with higher gear and then just killing world bosses and slowly each world boss kill will up your gear score by like two, three, maybe four yeah. if you're lucky and you just keep doing it over Watermark. and, yeah, over, yes, and over and over and over. That sounds so boring. I'd rather, I'd rather craft. I literally watched solid FPS do it from like... 6 a.m. this morning until I woke up at like 4. He was still on. Like 3. He was still just doing it in the same spot. That sounds so boring. Yeah. It's yeah. stupid boring. But it'll get you the best gear. Yeah. Or you can just get your crafting up. That'll also get you the best gear. That sounds more fun. To watermark, do you just literally put it on and take it back off? That's what I did. I think so. Yeah. I think you have to keep it in your inventory, but I'm not certain about that. Yeah, that's where I fucked up. I thought you just needed to put it on, and then you could do whatever with it. So I would put that's it. I, I would put it on, and then I'd delete it. But if it doesn't work that way, then I lost a lot of 570 gear. <laughs> yeah, he said that he was like deleting his, so he kind of screwed up. But I'm sure we'll get more. I mean, who knows how the system actually works? Yeah. I heard um, someone said that it takes like a snapshot of the highest stuff you've equipped. I don't know if that's true. So like oh, after yeah. you've equipped something really high, then you can delete it because it's still saved as like the highest that's been in that slot. Some people are saying you don't even need to equip it or keep it in your inventory. You just loot it once and you get it. Oh. Really? I don't know. That would make more sense. People like, are saying you don't even need to pick it up either. It just knows that you're dropping this now, and it'll drop higher next time. Okay. That's so weird. That sounds so bad. 
advanced. Yeah. That sounds like a really bad system if that's the case. AI. Dr. Lupo put out a video on how the system works according to a dev. Oh. Well, shit. Probably trust that one. That sounds so yeah, weird, sounds though. I don't like that. Fuck, I have so much shit here. Are you guys going to do the Brightwood War for Anthony? Need that as Oth, of course. Uh, let me find you. I'm not signed up. Oh, you are far. Where can I store all this iron? <laughs> Do we have Lin's word? Actually, I think I want to keep this stuff linen. War into evasion. Question mark? Not evasion, invasion. Well, hold on. You didn't start it, right, Mike? No. The rapier? Fuck no. Okay, I was like, <laughs> uh, no. No, crazy. No. I'm ready to do that grind, but not, not without you. True. Dude, I'm <sighs> cut. Mm, restless. They they lost their invasion, so the loom went down from tier five to four. So I can't even make infused silk anymore. I'm so mad. And that that could happen at our house, at our place too, at Weavers. Like I could, I could, tr I could be like we could lose, and then I can't make tier five jewelry anymore, or cut gems or whatever. <laughs> That's tough. When is the invasion at our place? Seven. I think seven, uh, yeah. So an hour and a half. An hour and a half from now. Mm -hmm. And that's an uh, invasion in New York. Uh, yeah. Why do I keep doing this to myself, man? What? Hmm. What are you doing to yourself? <laughs> I go to bed at 7 a.m. every fucking day, Mike. It's so bad. I would hate that. Yeah? You think? Yeah? Yeah, I would. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's not yep. bad. I don't That's like that good. at all. Okay, so, okay. If DJ life, the baby. Problem, yeah, but the problem with DJ life is that you start doing unhealthy things too. Like you stop going to the gym and then you start eating a lot of takeaway. But if you manage to keep all your routines healthy, it's probably not too bad to switch around your schedule. Like if you still sleep and everything. But you just know that's not going to happen. So, I guess it's, it's just a me problem. I need to make my way to Brightwood. I need this as off. It's crazy how you're you're fighting wars, not to like you, like fuck the fuck the actual war. You just want the Azoth. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, I have two vials for you. I'm just trying to store this stuff in Morningdale real quick. I have no room anywhere. Fuck, man. Ah, shit. I don't have charcoal. Tons of obsidian. And I could turn some of the star metal. God damn it. I need to chop some trees or something. Where are you, Mike? Your weavers? Okay, I'm going to come home and give you these files. Do you need any of the iron or steel right now? It's going to be far too full. Okay, I will leave it in Morningdale for now. I might have to pull the trigger and buy the biggest house here. It sucks that it's in a house, it's in a spot where we own, but I think I need to. Also, do you need um, gold or silver? Ash asked if you need gold or silver. Um, She's I, been giving me iron and steel. I need silver for power leveling my jewel crafting, which I might do today. I might just start making a bunch of shitty jewelry and then just start selling it like in masses. Surely you someone buys it. Um, I need silver for it. Silver's the easiest. Yeah. Gold yeah, would work. Gold would work too, but I might as well turn gold into platinum. Oh my god! Let me give you 
be this um, Azoth rifle. Hold on, do you make? Alright, well, I have both quests. Both? So, yeah. Oh, the I got bow. the bow one. Yeah, Just I in don't... case it lines up, I doubt it will. But. Well, I my, bow, have it. my bow ain't there. You're close, though, right? Kind of. Like half a level. Half ish. That's fine. We just do the rapier and you focus on the bow during it. We get it. Wait, where did it go? Probably. You probably put it in a. Oh, no. Let me go check. Just getting a bunch of wood right now. The best gem for a life staff? Probably a diamond. Oh, look at all the star metal. Oh, it just spawned. I have to get it. It's not a good idea, but I have to get it. <laughs> I don't know if I have the iron to complement it, but or steel or whatever. But I have to. Star metal veins, the smaller ones, give you more than the bigger ones. And they take longer. Weird. <laughs> I don't know if that was an accident or they flipped the numbers. Yeah, it was in my... I got it. I put it in my Morningdale stash. I'm on the way. You don't have iron here, do you? I mean, I left it, but I can pull it over. I have so much star metal that I might, with your iron and steel, I might have enough to complement the cooking, cooking all the star metal. You want to just iron? Um. Because I've been turning into steel, like you said. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's the same thing. Iron and steel is oh. all the same, really. I have 242 iron. Do you want me to grab it out? Uh, I don't want to do it until you're ready. I cannot hold it. <laughs> so should I leave it in Morningdale until you're ready? Yeah, I guess if you could just pull it whenever. I'm about yeah, to go there and it. start... That's why I'm chopping trees. I'm about to start smelting as much star metal as I can. I just think I have more ore than bars. Yeah. Let me give you this as a real quick, though. I'm coming back. I, I grabbed it. that mastery sorry bud you're being followed why i don't know this guy oh yeah he wanted to trade me something And green wood, thank you. Okay. I think I might need more green wood though. Maybe. We'll see. I think my inventories and storages are getting so full, I might need to start burning some of my materials to level up my professions. Because I've been holding on, holding on, holding on. But your storage can only hold so much, so I gotta burn it somehow. So burn it. So burn it. I don't let it burn. I mean, the higher levels, the higher gear score items I can make. So just burn it. Should be enough charcoal, right? 
I am doing a lot of smelting though, so maybe not. BRB. the um, content for the next weeks in New World? Is there dungeons? Is it legendary harming? Or what's the play? What do I need to prepare for? Gear. Gear grinds. All the gear. World bosses. Everything. And what do you need the gear for? Is there any hard dungeon to clear? Or no, just to be stronger in PvP pretty much. The dungeons okay. are the dungeons are honestly not very hard actually. Okay. So you say most of the end game stuff is getting better at winning the wars? Pretty much, yeah. That's like the only thing you yeah. play for. Yeah, I see. You play for war. Play for war. War never changes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna enjoy more playing uh, for the war stuff once I move. Because like PvPing on 200 MS feels a bit I yikes. don't want to turn all of yeah. my iron into steel. It's only... Because I might. Oh, but I need to clear my star metal ore. Ah, so fuck it. Who cares? There will be plenty of time to go to war all night. Ooh, look at that bo 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 bonus. All right, Ash just gave me 382 silver ore or uh ingots for you. Nice. Almost. I almost. I should have cleared up a lot of space. Not enough, though. <laughs> Cleared up a lot, but not enough. I need to start burning my my mats. I just need to. Once I can start, this will help. Getting rid of some... Getting... Oh, I can... Do I have silver? Once the smelter gets five, I could do all of my smelting here, and then I could turn all of my ingots oh. with my orcalcum into orcalc bars. How Let's see. Let's check the upgrades. Let's see what we're sitting you know, at. Same old. <laughs> I How's slept. Uh, terrible. But smelter I slept a lot today. Almost for the first halfway, time in a while, kind of. So that nice. felt amazing. Burning oil about halfway. But the schedule ruined. Never to be returned. Oh yeah, I feel that. Unfortunate, really. Yeah. Unlucky, really, as a certain esports pro would say. Yeah. Holy really is unlucky. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, I can't hold that. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. But I can't make that fit. I cannot make this fit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. I'm out of flux. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god, I have all this silver and bright... What the f... I need to go do chest runs. I'm running out of... I'm running out of everything. I have some blue scrapping stuff for you. I'll bring it to you right now. Wait, where are you? I see you. You need blue shit? I think I gave you all mine, to be honest. I just don't have... I'm gonna... I don't know. Okay, I don't need that stuff at all, but hey. Pull up from the flow up. I'm overflowing. You need that second character. Bad. Yeah, I might need that second ah. character. You should do it before, uh, at least make it before they close it again or something. I don't think they will close it again. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna Maybe. get, I don't think it's gonna get that lit, so. 
I mean, they're trying to like not allow transfers over. So Didn't they know. say that they were not allowed to transfer to full service or something? I heard yeah. Asmongold was pretty mad about that. Here, Mikey. I might buy a fucking house here, buy the biggest one. It's gonna cost all of my gold. But man, this place is, is becoming, I need more space. I don't know. I'm literally overflowing with goods. Oh, you know what I could do? Okay, I know what I know what I could do. While I, I could level my armoring. Over too, but I'll wait to give it to you. Yeah, I'm overflowing. Yep. I think I might just start burning and start crafting shit, just whatever I can. You should sell it, like actually. Make these gloves. Oh, I need linen. I can't see the Dynasty shipyard on the map for the sabotage quest in the main storyline. I think I'm just going to make a you bunch of these it. and burn some shit. You don't see it on the map? No. It's far left of Evan Scales where Dynasty shipyard is. Is it? Does it pop up there? Like far, far left. Oh, fuck. Yeah. If you need space, put stuff on the market for a little overpriced. A little overpriced or a lot overpriced? Not too much because it costs you to post it. Yeah, the it? fee will raise with the price. And if it's overpriced and it sells, oh well, you can just buy more. Especially in morning. It's not a bad idea. So just like put a bunch of. Everything's overpriced there. So, so just like a bunch like of my rivers. my ingots and shit. Just. Yeah. Okay. Plus, it's here. We own this place. So like. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I have way, too, it's, this is way too dank. If someone buys it in Weavers too, it's gonna be way more than it is in um, Windsward, so you can just go there with the money and buy like 20% more than you sold it for. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of this stuff up. I don't wanna do all of my star metal bars in case people actually buy them. But I guess that would be a good thing if they actually buy them, right? Because then I could just... No, it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It would be because it's way overpriced in Weavers. Eh. So you could just go to Windsward with that money you get and get way more than you sold. What do you think I should, like, way over... Like, what, what should I make the price? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, I see. So yeah, if I if I list star metal ore for one gold each, yeah. it's twenty three listing fee. If I do two gold, it's forty three. If I do three, sixty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, on the third day or something, there was someone who posted more than thirty auctions in Morningdale for one gold because they were probably using it for storage. And I ran up there and bought all of them, <laughs> and then I sold them for five k. <laughs> So I should probably just post the order for like three days or something. Yeah, you could do. Post it for like three days. Wait, and... what, wait what happens if oh, it? Be... I know it. I know what happens if if your bank is full, and yeah. it gets like the it times out. It just is in limbo till you take weight out of your bank. Where does it? Go? Where does it? But where does it's it just go? In the air, like it's nowhere until. Uh, but once you take weight out of your bank, it instantly goes in there. Are you sure? It doesn't just disappear. No, it doesn't disappear. It's happened to me. Maybe right? Unless it's like a chance bank. it does, but it's happened to me. I took stuff out and it just started piling in fucking iron ore. <laughs> oh, no. Got it. Okay. So yeah. I'll just I'll just put yeah, this is a good idea. Just... If it doesn't sell, do you get your money back? How much are star oh, yeah. metal ingots? Oh wait, the I don't like want the this I don't want the ingots cheaper. to actually sell, so what's the cheapest? Nobody's selling star metal ingots, so I don't know what the price is. Look at the other towns. No. The buy tab. Oh, it's because I have a perk selected, I think. And there it's, we go. Yeah. Ingots are being sold for ten each, so I should probably put them up for like twenty. 